Hey guys, John Price here with ECD Automotive Design in Kissimmee, Florida. I'm the sales and design manager out here. And today I wanna to show you a very special truck. This is Project Big Tex right next to me. Um, beautiful, stunning color, uh, black gloss with gray and eggshell satin finish, if you will. Um, massive 20 inch uh, custom wheels. And it's just looked phenomenal. It just, it has the right ingredients in the right place. As you see here, of course, we have a classic bumper with daylight running lights, one winch, adventure grill. And everything just seems to flow really well with it. As you notice, um, the color, of course, having a deviation in the shine going from the gloss into the eggshell makes a really nice contrast that you don't see in many of our trucks. Of course, full uh, side steps with rubber checker inserts, checker plates throughout, as you notice in the front on each side of the hood, door seals, and also the quarter panel. Um, has a full external roll cage, which is again, a great safety feature, as well as an LED light bar on top. Now, these wheels are probably my favorites, is uh, the ECD custom line. Um, they're very unique, uh, forged wheels. Uh, it takes about three months for us to get a set. So definitely a very special touch in this truck. Um, we also noticed the uh, Optimil hardware all throughout, hinges, door handles, all in subtle and subtle uh, metal. And uh, of course, in ionized uh, black. And through the back here, we have a couple of work lights, of course, that also are uh, very useful if you're in dark alleys or the woods and you would like to light up, of course, anything behind you. Um, this car has a very robust LS3 Plus 565 horsepower performance engine from GM. Uh, we built, of course, this truck as all of our vehicles from scratch for a client. Um, you see the twin pipes on each side, more or less stainless. And it has a very deep throaty sound to it, which is phenomenal. Again, it feels like you're driving a muscle car, really. Um, now, this particular vehicle has the, um, the most seating arrangement that you can get, which is two in the front, a bench in the middle for three passengers, and then four jump seats in the back. So if I may, I'm just going to show you here in the back, in the front, I'm sorry. So this one has Puma modular seats in the front, uh, very nicely finished with uh, contrasting stitch and diamond patterns in the middle inserts. Land Rover emblem here in the middle of the seats as well. Lots of little details, um, like the Momo Sporty uh, wheel that you see here in brushed aluminum and black leather. Carbon fiber finishes behind the gauges as well as the center panel and radio. A lot of subtleties, but again, it's a very special truck. In the middle row, I'll show you here. We also have a secondary AC unit with power window controls in the back here as well, and a couple of USB outlets as well. Now, the seats actually fold down flat. So if you ever need to carry something larger, heavier, you can actually just put them down like this and the whole seat setup comes down this way. Or partially, of course, if you prefer. Skis and things of that nature, of course, are things that people may come up in the, and use for this as well. So again, very um, uh, well designed and appointed interior with black leather and contrast stitch in a light gray. Now, you will see in the back, we've got four jump seats with individual seat belts, rear gate covered in leather, and all, of course, wrapped up with diamond stitch custom pattern. Now, there are LED dome lights throughout the vehicle as well, you notice in there, and also in the seat boxes as well. All right. Now we're going to show you under the hood. 
so you can have a better glance of what this um, vehicle has under. Now this one has an LS3 Plus 565 horsepower engine, um, again, very accessible. As you notice, everything we put in here is very well labeled. So you can essentially take it anywhere for service, change your oils, etc. And this vehicle has barely any miles. I believe we're about 3,000 miles on it. Uh, we built it about three years ago and it's been garage kept all the time. So if this is something, of course, you'd like to talk about and would like to get more information on, please stick us out. I'll be happy to help. And this will make a terrific car for anyone, whether you want to drive it daily or for weekend fun.